What's up everyone? Today I'm down at Burnt Shirt Vineyards where Jaguar Land Rover of Asheville are unveiling the 2017 Land Rover Discovery. It's a beautiful day outside for this event. We have a few Jaguars behind us, a couple Land Rovers up front there. I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I too. I have an awesome opportunity to show you guys a first look at their latest SUV. So everyone is inside waiting for the Discovery to arrive. We think it's coming from behind the Levante there. It's gonna park front and center up here in a few minutes. Let's take a look at this Range Rover SV Autobiography. This is insane to see in person. Very cool. We got a few bikes, some more Land Rovers. Uh, we've got a, a cute little surprise for you outside. And then we got a larger. Like this, right? Back to back. So yeah. we'll wait for everyone to get outside and then we'll bring yeah, it to the Come on out. Let's go have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, here it comes. Brand new baby. Worldwide for me. A new Land Rover. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, Land Rover's gone back to its roots. <laughs> styling of the car. As you can see as discovery through the years, we wanted to play with the traditional lines. Good visibility all round. <laughs> Everything is renewable, fully aluminum engine and bodywork. Completely recyclable and great for the environment. It does very, very good on fuel economy. And it can go anywhere. There is nobody in the world that's launched anything like this. What do you think? So here we have it, the all new 2017 Land Rover Discovery. It's finished off in lorry blue. Hopefully the camera can pick that up in the low light here, but this blue looks absolutely amazing on this car. Let's start off in the front here. You have your LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. More modern style look to the grill than the LR4, which is what this replaced. This car has the three liter turbo diesel you can also get the 3 liter supercharged V6. So the turbo diesel puts out 250 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque, whereas the supercharged will put out 340 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. So either option that you get, it's paired to the 8-speed ZF automatic transmission, which is also in the F-Type. You can see it has more sporty fog light bezels down here. Nice front end. So the biggest change with this SUV, other than the looks on the outside, is that using an aluminum unibody, this car actually drops 1,000 pounds over the LR4. The LR4 had the steel construction frame, so dropping 1,000 pounds is huge on this car. 
especially since it utilizes the same two engines from the previous generation. This car weighs just under 5,000 pounds, still gets about 20 to 23 miles per gallon, which is pretty impressive. So the air intake on this car can filter out water compared to air since it has a weighting of 35 and a half inches, which is roughly up to here on the car. So that's pretty, pretty cool to be able to take off road and go in, you know, some deep water with this, with this SUV. Let's move on to the wheels. These are, looks like a gunmetal finish to them. Very cool pattern. Let's measure 19 by seven and a half all around. Nice Discovery logo on the front quarter panel there. I honestly really like the new design of this, especially if you can see, we'll get to the C pillar on the back end there. It's a lot more curved than upright compared to the LR4. So let's take a look at that real quick. Right here on the LR4, it goes pretty much straight up. So that new curve there gives it a fantastic look. So of course this is fully loaded. It has the optional air ride suspension. So they're gonna go ahead and lower the car. I think the ride height drops almost two inches when you put it into park for the parking setting. And they stolen some stuff out of my car. What's the name of the place? Yeah. Oh, there it goes, moving up a little bit. It's very subtle, but that's cool. That'll also help with off-road as well if you do take this off-road. The capabilities are crazy. You get an optional locking rear diff, you get a standard center locking diff, and then a whole bunch of different off-road modes. When I get up front there, I'll be able to show you those. here. You can see the seats. Let's see how they work here. So using the buttons on the door here, you can do that. And they'll automatically open up. All right. So look at this. We have a screen in the headrest here. How cool is that? I'm not sure where to control those yet. So being in the back seat, I have plenty of leg room. The headroom is incredible. It's a lot, almost four fingers here. But down below we have all of your climate controls for the rear seats here. Finished in aluminum. Buttons look very cool, very smooth. This car has six 12 volts, so you have two in the back seats. I think I saw one in the back area there. It also has nine USB ports. Uh, well, here's two HDMI ports, the two USBs in the center, so that is a lot. So this is the seven-seater. You get two pretty much full-size seats in the back. There was a guy earlier, he was... Oh, you're fine. He was 6'3", and he fit in the back perfectly, so that's pretty crazy to see. He's the same, you know. Right. You have a great line running along the outside of the car here. So let's take a look at the rear. You can see we don't have too much storage with the third row up, but we can mess with a lot of these buttons. Well, I'm not sure how these buttons are working yet, but this actually folds down if you need it, and then the whole seats, of course, will fold flat. So that'll give you much more space on the inside. And then you do have the power gate. We'll go ahead and shut that real quick. In the back here we have more sleek and narrow taillights compared to the previous generation. Discovery coming along the whole back in nice black letters. You have your standard backup camera and the signature kind of offset license plate frame there. A nice spoiler on the top too. But depending on which engine option you go with, this car can tow now almost up to 8,800 pounds, which is pretty, 
pretty incredible for an SUV that definitely can out tow the 4Runner and even some pickup trucks as well. So with the all, overall all new design, this is actually a few inches longer and a few inches higher than the LR4. And it might be hard to see the fact because all of the square shape of it is gone. It's now all rounded everywhere, or rounded off I should say. All right, so now it's time to hop behind the, the driver's seat. Wow, we have beautiful leather on the door panel there. Let's go ahead and shut that door. So this is definitely a very nice interior. You have solid leather around the whole steering wheel. Of course, your normal controls on both sides, the aluminum paddle shifters. Again, that's the ZF transmission from the F-Type, so I'm sure that would be a lot of fun to drive in this your gauge setup. This is a 10.1 inch screen, touch screen of course. You have a whole bunch of settings. It looks to be very user friendly. Just going through a few settings. All of your climate control buttons finished off in aluminum again. Very nice design. Here is how you put the car into the different driving modes. Let's put it into reverse and we can see some people there. It's already beeping because it hears them or sees them. Behind your shifter there, you have all of your off-road settings for mud, snow, sand, all of those different terrains. It looks like you have a downhill assist button. Oh, right now I'm lowering the car. <laughs> okay. Traction control, a few other buttons, your electronic parking brake. Let's look at the seats real quick. They have good bolstering to them. You have a lot of room on the inside. Here's more of your USB and 12 volt. You also have two sunroofs. You have one in the front and then one for the third row passengers. And up above we have your sunroof and sunshade controls. Not too much else up there. Looks like an emergency call button and some other call buttons up front. Sorry for the lighting here. We're kind of getting to dusk at the moment, but a very nice interior up front. You also have armrests, your engine start stop button right on the, the right side. Discovery. I think it's a very cool design. It's a lot more sleek than the LR4. has a lot more technology in it as well. Huge thanks to Jaguar Land Rover of Asheville and Burnt Shirt Vineyard for hosting this event, letting me come down, share this experience with all of you, getting a first look at their latest SUV. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content to come. I'll see you all next video.